We're going live. We're going live. It's time to make a card and go live. Yeah, y'all. It's been the most beautiful day today. I got, y'all, I had a terrible night. Terrible night. So I literally, I got up and went back to bed and got up and went back to bed. Hey, Teresa. And because I had a terrible night and, you know, nobody's here to tell me not to, I stayed in bed till one o'clock. I did. And then I got up and ate something. And then we had to go to the post office. Hey, Lisa. Had to go to the post office. And y'all, I felt great ever since. But I didn't feel real good last night. And anyway, so... We took the dogs with us to the post office. We let them ride with us. We have to put on their collars with their name and everything on it because heaven forbid something happening, right? But um, but yeah, they wore their little collars. They never wear collars at home because, um, you know, they might play too rough and one get, you know, choking another one, that kind of thing. I've raised two kids. I know how that works. But, <laughs> but yeah. oh, hey, Angela. Um, yeah, so, um, so the dogs went with us to the post office, and it was fun, and they had a great time, but guess who? Had to be a diva. That's Winston. Hey, Debbie, Marilyn. <laughs> oh, Marilyn, your mail went today. I gotta send you a, um, a tracking thing. Hey, Janice. Hey, hey. Yeah, so we're gonna make a really cute card tonight. I've got everything, almost everything cut out. I got one thing that I've never tried to, to use that we're going to cut out. But I want to, um, I'm going to put you down here in the little, oh dear, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there we are. I'll put you down on my desk right here. And y'all, I just need to give you a quick um, promotion for, oh, Nyoka, where you been, girl? Hey, hey. I want to give a quick Shout out to my Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. It is Thursdays at 1 o'clock p.m. Y'all, we're having so much fun over there. And I love, love, love that so many are already joining in. And this is just something I just made today. Kathy Bowes Crafting Show is all about crafting. And heaven only knows what I'll be doing, y'all. I just bought something I'm going to be using on Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. Y'all going to crack up. Hey, Heather. Um, but yeah, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You got to come on to the show on Thursdays at one o'clock. Now I'll show you this. This, this is a little LED candle, right? And by the way, y'all, I need some big ones. And oh, hey, Michelle. So good to see you here. I need some of these big LEDs and I can't find any because, well, I have, I found them, but y'all, they're so, they're, they're so pricey. Um, this, oh, thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. Marilyn says my show is great, y'all. So don't miss it. Thursdays at one o'clock. We're going to make all kinds of things. Um, a lot of it is Dollar Tree crafts. And I'm doing a lot of homework in order to be able to bring these things to you. But anyway, this is one of those um, we yogurts. That's we like in France. O-U-I. The French people say we. Anyway. This was their yogurt thing, and um, I painted the um, the outside with, well, <laughs> I had a lot of trial and error with this one. Oh, hey, Lindell. I had a lot of trial and error with this one, and I put a little um, a little jute around here, and I made a wire heart, y'all. Y'all know I love hearts. And then I put this little thing. It's really pretty in the dark, like I'm trying to make it dark. Y'all see that? Okay. So this is the kind of thing we'll be doing over there. Um, this is something we did the other, well, we didn't do on my show, but this is something I made the other day. It's a big old carrot. I know, I know, isn't that, I mean, that might be weird. I don't know, but I thought it was super cute. And I'm watching, um, I'm learning a lot about making stuff like that. Okay, so I got a little show and tell tonight. First of all, y'all. The Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick bundles are available. And we're going to be playing with this tonight. If you see right here, the Hey Chick stamp set. This was in celebration in 2017. It was free. Well, now, y'all, we got all these dies to go with it. And they're selling this until, let's see, till June. 
um, it was available February 2nd to June 30th. And then this set is the new one, the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set that's in the mini catalog. And then over here is is um, the die cuts for those. But y'all are going to want them. I'm telling you, y'all are going to want them. Nyoka says, I don't like naked chickens. <laughs> that is so funny. We could dress them for you, Nyoka. I'm looking. <laughs> Maybe we could dress them up, right? Okay, okay. So I got more show and tell. Y'all, I'm glad Lindell is on here because, y'all, let me fix this back. Okay, I got some happy mail. And, I mean, I did not expect this, and it was the sweetest thing. I've covered up our dresses because there's weirdos out there, right? Okay. I am working a new DIY avenue. Lindell, tell me about it. Tell me about it, or you can um, you can comp you can send me a note or something. Kathy, you can draw them a shirt. Yes, you can. You can draw them a shirt, and yes, they look like punk rockers. Okay, y'all. So this was my happy mail. Now, I, I'm telling y'all, this was so exciting and so much fun. First of all, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. Y'all, I skipped Paper Pumpkin for January. You know why? Because I thought I had all the heart things I needed. And then I saw all the cute things people are making with the Paper Pumpkin, and I was so sad. Lindell sent me this card right here. Is that not adorable? Look at this. I didn't even have, I had nothing from this Paper Pumpkin. And it is so stinking cute. She has um, put the snail up on it on a uh, Stampin' Dimensional. She's got a little bow on the mailbox pole. She's got a look at the little. It's like a the little puffy heart there, and so stinking cute. And then a snail in here and a stamp here. I just love this, especially because I skipped Paper Pumpkin and I should not have. So now I have a little something. Thank you, Lindell. Yay, but that's not all. She also sent me this adorable, y'all know, y'all know, I love Query Easy. Hold on. I love doodly doos, right? I love my doodly doos. And I don't know if y'all have seen these lately, but um, I made these ages ago, so much so that they're fading. But I've got a little poodle puppy. I've got the You Can Do It girl right there. We can do it. And, of course, a Boston Terrier, right? Okay, all, this is shrink, Shrinky Dinks. Shrinky Dinks. And I stamped them and colored them. And, and mine are about worn out. So I opened this up, y'all. And look, I've left it all packaged till y'all could see it. Look what Lindell sent me. I love it. It says, for you. And then it says, Kathy 2021 with hearts. <laughs> yes. I love it so much. Thank you. But wait, that's not all. This is a pin that you'd wear that you'd wear on your shirt. You know, oh well, uh, look in the little circle, y'all. In the little circle. There we go. Wear it on your shirt. And I've been it just a wee bit. I'm sorry. And there we go. It she has embossed it and cut it with a uh, well, she cut it first, I'm sure, with the die. And then embossed it and put a pretty bow on it with the little rose. Isn't that sweet? And, and a pin on the back. And she signed it. And I love it so much, y'all. And I didn't want to wear it because you wouldn't be able to see it if I pin it to my shirt. And I wanted y'all to see the Happy Mail package I got. And everything was packaged so sweetly and so well. And it made my day. My husband brought it in and he says, did you order something else? <laughs> He kind of says that almost every day. Okay, guys. So last week we did this. We made this um, miniature paper pumpkin box with the little note cards in it. And if you missed it, I'm just going to show you real quick. I did finish the top and I posted it on my page. Um, everything was done except for all of this. So then I, I fixed this and posted it on my page. Lindell, it was my pleasure and I enjoyed making it. That's so sweet. Oh, um, I just, I totally enjoyed receiving it. Okay, and then here are some cards that we did. We, wait a minute. Come on now. 
Oh, you know what? I redid that card. I had a card I was going to show y'all, and apparently I got carried away and fixed it before I showed y'all. Okay, what happened was, you know, I showed you how to dye your um, your ribbon, right? Um, this was a white ribbon that I just dragged through the, the um, purple, and I don't remember which purple it was, but anyway, when I put it on the card which is not here. I don't know what I did with it. When I put it on the card, I did it a little too soon and it it bled on the card. So don't do that. So, you know, like last week when I did it, I was like just doing it during the show and yeah, so it bled on the card. So, um, but then this one, this one did not. It's fine. <laughs> it didn't bleed anywhere. So I don't know. But if you're going to run your ribbon through die. Susan, hello. Good to see you here. Lindell just got the hydrangea set last Friday. Oh my goodness, isn't it beautiful? But if you are going to dye your um your ribbon, you need to let it dry. So go ahead and get all your ribbon dyed and just let it dry, okay? This was another one that we did. And the third one that that had the dye on it and it's probably right in front of me, y'all. I really don't know. I don't know what I did with it. Um, I did donate that. Let me see if I can get the picture. I donated the box of cards to the um, first the uh, first responders. And yes, here it comes. That's it right there. Um, I gave them some Valentines, some birthday, some um, uh, thinking of you, that kind of thing. So I might have put it in there with those. But anyway, I did some envelopes to, to go with these things, and there we go. All right, so that was that was the uh, extra information about last week's last week's things. And again, this is the uh, miniature paper pumpkin box. The chickens took it, probably Teresa. The naked chickens. Don't forget, it's naked chickens. <laughs> so okay. Tonight we're playing, now mine looks like this because it came from 2017 Celebration and I wrote Returned with Dyes in 2021, which one time I looked at that and I thought, did I return that? You big dummy, no. <laughs> it came back with the dyes in 2021 and this is the new one that came out this year. Y'all, we are going to play with some screen. Look at this. That's a hint for what we're going to do right there. Okay, but that's, yeah, we're going to play with some screen. We're going to play with the, uh, that's not a smoky slate. I don't know. Maybe it's um, basic gray. I'm not sure, but we're going to play with this color. And we're going to use the layering squares and some chicken dyes. Chicken dyes, chicken dyes. Hydrangeas are my favorite. And purple, Susan. You need all the hydrangea stuff. It's in the little um, it's in the little catalog. Now I'm gonna show y'all what we're not gonna make. All right, we're not making this card, but isn't it cute? Y'all, that was a lot of work. Um, first of all, I went a little cray cray with the clouds, okay? Um, my friend Sherry, this is this is a fun story right here. Sherry sent me this cloud stencil, and she says peel off the paper, but I'm leaving the paper on because, because I just wipe it clean. But um, but she sent me this cloud this cloud stencil, and I mean it. You know, it's simple enough, but I love it because she made it and sent it to me. It was very sweet. But y'all, here's the crazy thing. I I got connected with um with this super sweet woman um. And I've been, I've crafted with her a few times. Um, she's got a studio large enough to, to host all of us, you know, where we're, we're six feet apart. I mean, we could be 20 feet apart in that studio. So she is, one of her best friends is this woman named Sherry. And I was a child living across the, sh the street from Sherry. We were little kids together. I think she's closer to my brother's age, maybe about two or three years older than me. But how cool is it that, you know, that I got to see her after all those years and there we are. I mean, it's just weird. Um, 
but yeah, I was probably five or six when she moved away. But okay, I'll tell you what's going on here. The grass is actually a dye from Lawn Fawn. It's not Stampin' Up. If we ever have a neat looking Stampin' Up dye for grass, I'll buy it. Um, the chickens here, you know, you saw them on the, on the, this guy, this chicken, and I just colored them differently. And then the little donkey is from the Celebration um, donkey. Yeah, so I put a little fence behind them, and this chicken's peeking out from around the log, and I used my, um, my new blending brushes. Um, Stampin' Up! does carry these, and mine came from Amazon, but I think they probably look like Stampin' Up! except Stampin' Up! is probably brown. I don't know. It is a small world after all. It is a small world. So I just use those to go around and I put the, the sun on there. Anyway, it, it took a little bit of effort to make this. Um, in other words, I worked on it for about two hours just trying to come up with a cute card for tonight, but it's really tedious. Now I'll show you something I wanted to do and I didn't, I didn't get there. Um, what I wanted to do was put this kitty cat in the, I wanted to put, and I know Teresa's going to giggle at this one. I wanted to put him in the um, hen house, like he got locked in there, and have all the chickens outside. Um, Nayaka, mine came from Amazon also, and I love them. Yes, me too. And I mean, in all fairness, I bought mine before Stampin' Up! came out with them. So again, you know, it's it's like the alcohol marker story with me. You know, something comes out on the market, Stampin' Up! follows up, but it's sometimes six months later. So I'm kind of like, hmm, well, I don't know. I don't know what they'll buy next or what they'll carry next. But, um, you know, if it's something affordable and on the market, I'm probably looking for it. But anyway, so I wanted to put the cat behind the chicken wire. And uh, maybe maybe another day I'll figure out exactly how I want to do that. Uh-oh. I do that every time, don't I, y'all? Okay. So, but for now, we're going to make this card a little bit differently. And these are some of the items that I wanted to use. Um, I've got our little barn right here that I ha I'm, we're not using this tonight, but I'm just showing you some of the cute things. Um, now, when I, when I went to do this one, y'all, I had to put a little extra, had to put a little extra, um, shim in there to get all the markings. You see the, the, how the wood looks on there and everything? Yeah. So I had to get all that. And then on top of all that, I had to, um, use a, a bright light to be able to see what the color, right? Um, yeah. So... Anyway, so that's the little hen house that we're not using tonight, but I want y'all to see it. And then more chicken wire and fence, right? Okay, this, um, I'm going to say this is Smoky Slate. I think it is. Oh, uh, let's see. I, I'm pretty sure it is. The pattern on here is a retired background stamp. And this is why I want y'all to know when when you see something that's stamping up and you think, wow, I can get a lot of use out of that, just get it. Just get it, y'all. Um, because these things retire and we don't have them anymore. These are the background stamps that we do have. Um, I need this one. I have not bought this one. And I do have this one. I should mark it that I've got it. And I have that one. But um, the chicken wire would be a great one to go with with what we're doing, but let me show you this. Um, back here, we do have a wood palette type stamp. And this is probably about exact size, and it, it's not that hard to stamp it in a line. Um, you'd have to practice a little bit, but you could stamp it, you know, in a line to get that full wood look on your on your cardstock, okay? So I use the wood, the wood, um, stamp that I have, this hardwood from whenever it was, 2019, okay? And let's see here. Let me talk about those. Okay, yeah, basic gray is the color on top of the smoky slate so that it would show up really well. And 
I want to show y'all something real quick. Those are our pieces. Um, there is a... <laughs> so happy to finally have the large block so I can use my background stamp. Right? Really love that wood stamp. Yes, it's a, be it's a beautiful stamp. And I've used it for all the seasons. I mean, so many different ways I've used that stamp. Okay, y'all. Going around on the internet is a thing called the Chucky Tool. And what it is, it is some kind of something to hang on to. Typically, it's a glass something. I don't know. It's got like a ball on it. Well, I had this lid from a candle that was given to me as a gift. And I put little, the little um, chair things, the, the gliders, sliders, whatever you want to call it, that you put on a chair. And then I put a piece of uh, um, felt over it. Well, this is so that when you use a a stamp here we go when you use a stamp in your stamp positioning tool all right and you put your card stock down i'm not going to do it because it's already done and you go like well let me get rid of the foam okay and you you put it on here and you go like this right instead of pressing like we were doing you take it like this, and you just move it around. It's called a Chucky tool because um, Gina K., who is, I've mentioned her before. She's She's got a, a company, a stamp company. Anyway, a man named Chuck is a friend of hers, and he saw her trying to press like this on her stamp positioning tool, and he sent her this tool that is now called a Chucky tool. Um, and he says he does not want to make them for fame and fortune. He does not want to. He just made her that one or however many. And then other people are selling them on Etsy. And I don't know if they're all calling them Chucky Tools. But anyway, I thought it was funny. So I just I just got what I had in my studio, y'all. And you can do it, okay? Um, Lindell, I saw it with a Yankee candle top and a piece of wood and felt. There you go. There you go. And you, you just want to be sure, like I had a I had a little chunk of hot glue and I had to get that off because, you know, I don't want to scrap, scratch up my, my thing. So anyway, this, it really helps to just be able to put a lot of pressure on it and slide it around. Okay, so that's the Chucky tool. And you really do, you really do need something. Now, y'all, just a soft cloth would do it, okay? Nyoka, I remember when this started, I have an old glass doorknob that I'm going to try and make my own. Yes, yes, yes. You can do that. Lindell's going to look for that. Yes, uh, Lindell, you can go to Etsy if you don't want to try to make your own out of something. I don't know. I, I've been looking at this wooden lid for so long, and I, and I kept it because I thought one day I might know what to do with it. So that's what I did with it. Okay, so that's a little quick story for you about the Chucky tool. And now we are, oh, we're going to make our card. Let me put this away. I really do have a place for everything, y'all. Okay, so our card tonight, um, I am using the new basic white cardstock. This is the heavy cardstock, and I like it. It's the pressure effect with this that helped. Yes, yes, exactly. And you, you can... It, you kind of get a more um, well-distributed pressure if if you're not, you know, just going like this, right? You just kind of like, and it just works better. I mean, it. I tried it with it and without it, and this, this was great. So I do like the basic white. Um, it's the replacement for the Whisper White. We are going to create a card with the basic gray. And, all right, what I did, I need to I need to show y'all how I did this. Just a minute, just a minute. Oh, come here. Okay, let me put all these guys on here. Okay, so I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. And I was willing to sacrifice um, my die because... I mean, just before I did it, I thought, okay, I need to think this out. I know what I'm doing. It might ruin my die. So, you know, I figured anything for 
my friends on Tuesday night, right? So I took this die, and this is from the Layering Squares uh, Framelits, all right? And it really and truly the way I did it, I used, no, no, this one was just this piece. Okay, so I laid my piece of screen down. Y'all remember Ninja Man brought me some screen, and I laid that down, and I just put my die on it, y'all. Like, you don't even have to, you know, get it exact or anything. And I was like, I don't know what's going to happen, but here we go, right? Here we go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And I thought, hey, it kind of went through kind of easy, right? So I thought maybe it's okay. Maybe I didn't kill my little die. And y'all, look at there. Isn't that cool? So it's perfect for our little chickadees, isn't it? It's just perfect. And there's just a little bit of um, residue from the screen around it that I didn't notice before, but I sure am seeing it now. I'm just going to take that off with my little washi tape. There we go. And put him back. And, I mean, I wouldn't go crazy trying a bunch of different materials with your nice dies. But, you know, this is so thin, I thought maybe, just maybe, it'll be all right. And, lo and behold, it is. Okay, you know what I should have done while I had that over here? I forgot, y'all. Hold on, we got to get a little piece of corn. I don't know if I'm going to put the corn on there or not. No, because it's, it's going to be too tedious. But I've got a corn stalk. And this is the little leaves that, that go at the bottom of the corn stalk. And then that's the piece of corn. So see, I'd have to cut my greens and my yellows. And I don't know. If we have enough time at the end, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, so this is going to be a birthday card. And we have in one of our dies, this is the chick dies. We've got this streamer right here. I don't know if y'all can see that real good. Anyway, it's that metal streamer. Yeah, you can see it right there. So I cut that out in a bunch of different colors because I just wasn't sure how festive we want to get, right? I mean, how big is this party going to be anyway? And none of the chickens are wearing masks and they don't care about social distance. So I figured all the chickens we want can come, okay? All right, let's see now. Here's our little corn stalks and... It would be so cute with with the corn on it, so we might have to do that. And y'all know, when you're cutting something skinny like this, it's always helpful to use to use some of the um, adhesive sheets. I did not use the adhesive sheets for this, but I can show you a way. I've shown y'all before, but I'm going to show you again tonight how to get your glue on there without, you know, without too much drama, right? First, we want to create our little, our little windows. So we're making a window with a screen in it, or rather, it's kind of supposed to look like, um, like a, a chicken house because I'm putting him in front of the screen like this, okay? And his head can come out. I don't mean to to cut his head off here, y'all. Okay, so we're going to we're going to put that on there first. There are so many cute extra elements with those chick dies. There really are. There really are. And I would be surprised if they don't make it to the next catalog, but I've been surprised before and I've been wrong before. So we're not going we're not going to think too much on that. Um, okay, so I'm going to put his head through, or her head. I, I, I always see this one as a girl chicken. Well, chickens are girls, aren't they? Y'all, it's been a while since I was on the farm. Okay, how about I've never been on the farm? We did have chickens here for a little while, but they were really my daughter's chickens, and I had one and she was a, um, oh, she was this black and white chicken. Um, I don't remember. It, it'll come to me in a little bit what she was called. 
Um, but, oh, a Wyandotte, because I named her Winona. She was a Wyandotte. Y'all might know what that is. It's really a pretty chicken. And the fat chicken, this one right here, reminds me of her. Um, but apparently, there was a fox lurking about at my daughter's house because Winona moved with them when they moved from here, from from my home at Six Little Acres. Winona moved too, and because um, we didn't, we couldn't keep just one chicken, you know. And plus, my neighbor is uh, very unkind, and. Um, if they make it to the next caddy, please put feathers on them. <laughs> Only cut head when we fry them up. That's right. That's right, Debbie. That's right. But um, but yeah, so she's a Wyandotte, and she got gotten by a fox, we think. We're not sure. And y'all, look, there's a right side and a wrong side when you cut out a die. I don't know if the camera shows it now or not, but this is a more finished side here. And then that's more of a rough, rough edges. I don't know if y'all can see that, but trust me, it's true. All right, so this one, um, I thought about putting her like this, where she's kind of like, you know, I think that's what we'll do. We'll put her like that. So, yeah, so Winona is gone, and I was very sad for a, for a day when I heard about it. And uh, honestly, y'all, we probably ate chicken that night. I'd, I don't know. But but I loved that silly chicken. I did. I did, y'all. Oh, wait. I was going this way, wasn't I? Hold on. Okay. So I did. I loved that, that little chicken. She was so sweet. Well, I mean, you know, as chickens go. But my grand girls, um, all three of them, as a matter of fact, my daughter's two girls and my son's daughter, man, they are like the chicken whisperers. Okay, and like I said, really the chicken should be on the inside of the screen, but I really like this. I think this is super cute, and they're peeking out like they're they're going to jump out and say happy birthday. Um, here we go. We're going to trim off just, just the edge that's showing, and typically you do want to cut from the other side, from this side. Cut it right there. Let's see how we're doing over here. And y'all see, I'm using my silicone craft sheet. I don't know what I'd do without this. We have a chicken house full. Love our fresh eggs. Oh, Nyoka, yes, yes. They are escaping. <laughs> yes, they are. But yeah, um, we loved getting the fresh eggs. Although, okay, Nyoka, I'm going to tell you the truth. It bothers me that... The the young women now I don't I don't know about everybody but the young women now are like oh you can just you just lay the you 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 gather the eggs and they can sit on your counter for days as long as you haven't washed them well that just freaks me out because I just didn't grow up with that and it's just too foreign to me and I want them washed and I don't want chicken poop in my sink. So that was always, as my mama would say, a quandary. Mama would say, well, now that's a quandary, which I, I don't even know if quandary is a word. I'd have to look it up. So I've glued this, and I'm going to put it down here. Now, y'all, is that not adorable? That is so stinking cute. And, and it's unique because we're using screen, real screen, right? And, you know, um, what, a week or two ago, I used um, real screen to do some uh, pattern type stuff, and actually that card that I that I made with the screen and I put the um, embossing paste over it and all that, um, I sent that to the firefighters too, to the first responders. So if you missed this last week, um, Nyoka, I don't believe you were here, but anyway, this is one of the one of the chicken cards. Oh, hey, Julie. I'm so glad to see you here. And yeah, so I made this little, it's just, I just love these things, y'all. I just have the most fun. And it keeps me off the streets, y'all. How about that? Okay. So I'm going to put this around like this. And yeah, I could use a different glue. I could even pop these up with um, 
with the Stampin' Dimensionals, but I kind of just wanted to do this. Now, oops, oops. Well, that's actually serendipitous because I saw some of this screen is, is looking at us right here. Let me trim that. I'm just going to trim it off right there. Okay, please hold. All right, and if you're new to the channel, I mean new to the evening tonight, if you're just getting here, I'm doing Kathy Bow's crafting show on Thursdays at 1 o'clock, and I really would love it if you guys could support me either by watching live or coming back and watching the replay. Um, one of the things I'm doing on that show is I am auctioning off whatever I make. Um, and I may be having a bigger auction later in the year. I don't know. But what I do, I'm going to make the item. And some things have to sit for a few days um, because I don't want the packaging to stick to them. So once, once everything's cured and everything, I'll mail it. Um, let me see. I'm missing some comments here. Nyoka, I always wash mine and keep in the fridge. Thank you. Yes, that was me. I could not, I just could not eat an egg that had been sitting out. I don't care what kind of chicken juice it had on it. No. Um, I had 50 Rhode Island Reds washed and dry off, put in cartons and refrigerated. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay, so this little, this little thing right here that I showed y'all is in here. You know, it's that crepe paper that you string all over the house, and I've still got a little piece of it in the corner of my living room from my 60th birthday two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's still there, and I and one day I might climb up and move it. I don't know, but I figured we'd just string some across here. I wasn't sure how we wanted to do it or if I wanted to do it, but yeah. And then the... um. We're going to put these on, too. So we're definitely going to need this guy because I did not cut this out with the adhesive paper on it. So I'm going to make a little a little puddle here. Come on now. Ooh, that's a bigger puddle than I planned. But in its defense, I definitely squeezed it a little bit hard. I've got this little piece of sponge. It's real sticky right here, and I don't know if that's going to work good or not, but I'm going to get a little bit right there. And I'm just going to dot it on here. And this way, I'm not going to have glue oozing out. And y'all know, if you've ever done anything like this, oozy glue is just is just a pain. Let's see. Scared me there. Thought you washed your chickens. <laughs> it's bath day, chickens. Okay. So I'm going to stick that there. And don't worry about it hanging off a little bit. See that hanging off? It's okay. Because I am going to trim that just as I did the screen on that little chicken window. All right, and we're just dabbing it along here. I'm going to get a little bit of glue on my hand, but it's okay. Nobody, Nobody's died. I think some woman put um, Gorilla Glue in her hair, and she ended up in the ER. I, I really didn't read the whole article. Um, I don't think she was a crafter. I think it was some sort of fashion thing she was trying to do with her hair, but um, I'm not going to put this in my hair. I'm not, I'm not. So yeah, so we took the dogs with us to the to the post office today. They sat in the car with Ninja Man because one of us gets out and goes in. We don't both go inside places, um, you know, unless we absolutely have to. Because, I mean, we're older, you know, and we don't want to get the crud, you know, that kind of thing. Um Let's see, where do I want to put this? Maybe across. I kind of like it going across. Because, you know, they never hang just so. I mean, if they did, you can ask yourself, was it really a fun party? Um, really seriously need one of those brown things. Yes, you do. It's a silicone craft sheet. It is a silicone craft sheet. All right, wait a minute. we got to go this way. There's apparently a right way and a wrong way with these streamers. They have a more of a flat side, I think, on one side than the other. Okay, so now we're just going to trim them off. Bink, bink. Okay, and trim off this part. There we go. 
See, it's getting festive, people. My Elka, that blew my mind. Now she wants to see the glue come. For real. See, I didn't read the article. I just saw that she put Gorilla Glue in her hair. I take that's like the Tide Pod eaters, which maybe she ate Tide Pods back in the day. You know, they're like, duh, you eat a top Tide Pod. They were trying, some group was trying to get them to change the Tide Pods so they wouldn't look like it tasted so good. My husband and I had a pet rooster and stud muffin did get a bath once a week. Oh, see, okay, there you go. Um, yeah, so now I'm getting a different sheet because I've gotten this one a little bit gluey, y'all. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's like, just don't eat the dang Tide Pods, y'all, right? I mean, come on, come on. Oh, dear. Okay, here we go, here we go. This will work a little better. We're going to put a little glue on here. And get our little corn stalk. And like I said, it depends on the time whether or not we're going to put corn on here. We might, because I've already colored the, the card stock. Um, and I can just cut out some green. Oh, dear. Please don't hang on. There. Hold on. I need... The problem right now is my hands have glue on them. My fingers do. And it's really difficult to handle the card stock with my, with my gluey fingers right now. Oh, see? Uh-huh, case in point. Eating Tide Pods would explain the Gorilla Glue hairspray. Yes, it would. How moronic do you have to be to put glue in your hair? Or the people who sued for hot coffee. Thank you, yes. It's like, come on. And y'all, people been crazy for a while. This isn't new. People been crazy for a while. This is like epic craze. Crazy people. Y'all know I thought I had too much glue. Guess what? I didn't. Because now I couldn't even get my. Oh dear. There we go. You, you got to be careful with these things. I should have used the little adhesive sheets. I know. I know. How about I'll use them when if we put the corn on there? Might do that. Okay. Now you know you're supposed to have three elements, not. Not for whatever, not a, not a, not a, an even number. There you go. I'm sticking that down there. And then the fourth, the third one, because you're supposed to have three or five or something like that. I don't know. I just work here. Okay. I'm going to try this a little different. It's going to kind of. Try not to go a little crazy with my glue this time. And it's helping to use a tool to handle everything. So I don't know if y'all saw my um, my post today on my regular page, but Ninja Man finished the cabinet in my, in my studio bath. And, um, and it's really neat because Okay, first of all, it, it was perfect when we when we bought it and installed it, right? But then I realized when I spoke to the lady who first had painted it for me, she said, oh, well, I didn't put a wax coat on that one. And I'm thinking, and why? I mean, I don't know why. So anyway, I ended up, um, ended up bringing the, let me see if I can show y'all a picture of that. Ended up bringing it home, and we got it installed, and life happened really, really, really fast because that was during um, that was during Ren's chemo and all that stuff. And we ended up just using it. Well, the the paint got really in bad shape, so Ninja Man went in the in there the other day, and he sanded it down and that's how it looks now and that is my studio bathroom it's an ikea sink an ikea um faucet and the mirror is not the mirror i wanted it's like something cheap i found um probably at hobby lobby i don't even know um but it's not the mirror we're still working on that the frame for said mirror is on the wall over here, and all my grandchildren's artwork is stuck inside it. 
haphazardly because that's the best way I can enjoy it right now. But in time, we are planning to, um, we're planning to make it, uh, I'm going to use Stampin' Up! Blends. I'm going to use this one here. We're planning to make it a um, thing that holds the actual mirror. Okay, there's there's a few ways you can do this. I, because we have an extra little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and make us some corn, okay? You can use, um, this is old olive, I believe. Yeah, this is the dark old olive. You can use, and thank y'all, thank y'all. I love that piece, y'all. I love it. Um, and then I've got one in my in my master bath, which is a triple dresser, it's huge and it weighs a ton. And everybody that had to deal with it when they were installing it um, was not happy with me because I failed to say it weighed a ton. Well, hello, I never picked it up, boys. Never did. So I told them to man up and just go ahead and live their life and get that dang thing installed. And you know what they did? So anyway, um... <laughs> But I said it with love in my heart. The The cool thing is they give us at least three, three of these um, leafy parts of the stalk, and they give us three ear of corn, which is great because, um, you know, it's it's an odd number, and I think that's kind of what we want. Look at the little bow tie or the bow for the hair. Isn't that cute? So, yeah, the next step will be to get that... Um, get that picture frame installed. I wish I could show it to you. I don't think I can um, without messing everything up over here. But get that picture frame installed. It's it's very ornate and it's gray and it's really, really thick, but it's, um, it's not wood. It's, I guess it's a plastic. I don't know, but it looks amazing, y'all. Um, I don't know if I can show you or not. Hmm, probably not. Anyway, Okay, so I'm going to use washi tape, and you can either use uh, old olive or any kind of green cardstock, or you can do what I just did right here. Um, Y'all know one of my favorite techniques around the fall is um, is coloring a piece of cardstock with all the yellows and golds and orange and and reds and all that, not gold, but red and all that, and then die cutting just at random and the colors just oh goodness they're beautiful they are just beautiful that's one of my favorite things to do y'all all right so we're gonna put the pieces of corn on here and if you're watching and haven't um haven't commented let me know you're here resin yes julie it's resin it's a resin frame it's very lightweight but it looks it looks ancient and it looks very heavy Nyoka, hello the chickens are naked why would they need a bow tie <laughs> ah, right right they ain't got no respect for no clothes ain't got none all right here we go here we go i'm gonna cut these out so how do y'all like the idea with using screen isn't that kind of cool Okay, Nyoka, Marilyn's got you. Their throats are cold. <laughs> so isn't it fun? I mean, I I was just so excited to get the screen in here. I mean, it was in the shed. It was very easy to get. Ninja Man brought it, and I cut it into a gazillion pieces. And um, I'm going to go over this twice. Nah, three times. A um, couple of reasons. One, I've never used it before. And two, I don't know how deep it'll cut. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the one, two, three, just so that it won't, it won't slow us down. Oh, look at this, y'all. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, hold on. That's why I love die cutting. It's like a little, it's like a little gift, okay? And we got one guy still stuck in here, so we need to get him out. There we go. Okay. Oh, did he not? Yeah, he's color. Okay, and you just got to be careful. Keep your dies together, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, don't get all willy-nilly with them because you'll lose these little guys. You can. 
And look, y'all, we've got uh, right here, we got little pieces of corn. Isn't that cute? Gosh, this has got to be one of the cutest die cutting uh, sets and stamp sets, except for the nakedness. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, very clev clever to use a screen. I thought you were going to color through it. Oh, we can. It leaves a beautiful uh, pattern behind. Love the use of the screen. I wouldn't have thought of that. Love it. Uh, love using different stuff on my cards. I use snaps on a card I made for a friend who sews. That's awesome. Thank you all. I mean, really, y'all are encouraging me to go try new things. So um, look out, Ninja Man Shop. I might find more stuff I need. <laughs> oh, and y'all, I got to tell a story about Julie and Heather and me, okay? And I, I think Julie's still here, and I think Heather's here. Um, yeah, so I had an, an event here at my house soon after we had moved in. And Julie is a, uh, she's a silhouette instructor. She's certified silhouette instructor. The die cutting machine, y'all, she's amazing. So um, I, ha I hosted an event here, and she came up from the Savannah area, and Heather came, and uh, several ladies came from all around and took the class. Well, while we were while we were doing the class, we cut out some vinyl pink ninjas, all right? And they were so cute. I don't even remember um, Nyoka cover size. <laughs> Lisa, I want a magnetic bowl to put dies in. Yes, Lisa, you need that. Um, hey, Lisa, I happen to be needing to go to Harbor Freight, and they're super cheap. Um, I will text you and let you know if I if I can get one for you, okay? Because um, I don't know how far away Harbor Freight is for you, but I think it's in Savannah, and you'd probably get it a lot easier if I just mail you one. Anyway, so... So we're all just kind of like playing around and we're loving the um we're loving the ninjas and all that. And I've got a picture of two of those three ladies. <coughs> One of us was taking the picture. <laughs> two of the girls, Julie and Heather, they were putting the pink ninjas all over my husband's safe, right? It's this huge black safe. And they put pink ninjas all over it. Well, lo and behold. He loves them. <laughs> he never took them down. And they're still on to this day. And I love it because even if I'm just walking by, you know, I just kind of have to giggle a little bit because those pink ninjas are there. Oh, this is my drawer full of um, Pix erasers and threaders. See that right there? Yep. And I've got all my Pix erasers and threaders in here. Okay. I've got like a little tower of drawers over here. This is actually a jewelry picker thingy. Um, and it just makes it easier to pick up these things, okay? So, let me see. Um, I don't know that it matters where I put it, does it? But I think I gotta put the corn on first. I, y'all, y'all know I can't cook, so I don't know nairn about corn. Hold on. We'll put a little drop of glue on there. That's probably too much. We're gonna stick our piece of corn on there. Just like that. Let me zoom. Y'all know what this means if I'm zooming in. I'm also going to have a problem zooming out, like I'll forget to at all, right? Right. Because that's how I operate, y'all. Now, I do know where this other piece is going, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my glue on there and stick that on there. Okay, y'all. This, oh, well, I don't need to hold it up. You can see it. That is so stinking cute. Oh, goodness. I'm going to put a piece down in here. Uh-oh. And there we go. And boop, right there. Okay, and then we'll put this little piece on here. It's y'all, this needed corn on it. I almost didn't put it on there, but look how cute. Y'all, oh, put it over here. There we go. Sorry, I go out of out of picture sometimes. Okay, I don't even know. I don't even know how this is supposed to look, y'all. Um, so, I've been going to the Dollar Tree a lot. And that's a lot of what my um, Kathy Bowes crafting show is. Um, is Dollar Tree. Fun stuff from the Dollar Tree. Let me see where I want this right quick. Just a minute. 
Um, right there. Um, yeah, fun stuff from the Dollar Tree. And, y'all, I've got a whole section of my studio dedicated to the Dollar Tree. That's right. And, you know, I go in there and I'm like, how much is this? They say a dollar. How much is that? A dollar. How much is this? And then they go, would you leave, please? <laughs> ah. Let's see. I think some of them ended up in a drawer. Drawer of unmentionables. <laughs> oh, that, that's right, Julie. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot that. Yes. We, we put the pink ninjas in the man panty drawer. I, I might have glued one, too. I don't... Well, they're adhesive, so I had to have stuck one on. I remember that now. Oh, that is so funny. That is so funny. That is so cute. When we have our garden, our grandson loves to play in the corn stalks. Oh, tell John I said God bless. Oh, he needs a whole lot of blessings, y'all. Because, you know, he lives with this right here. This hot mess. <laughs> I totally forgot that we put them in his, um, in his under rude drawer. The man panties. Y'all, I have a story. But he's wearing his headphones, so he can't argue. I got totes dedicated to Dollar Tree. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. And I'm loving, I'm loving our Dollar Tree. Oh, poo, y'all. I know I do it backwards every time. As Mama said, bass backwards. Okay, so I've got extra streamers. I'll use these on another day. Not today. And... I think I'm going to go with, um, let's celebrate you. But y'all, okay, we were on a cruise ship. Now this is something, <laughs> y'all, either you're going to laugh or you're just going to shake your head, I don't know. Um, but we were on a cruise ship, okay, and come on now, why can't I get you out of here? Oh, because I've never used you before. What? 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 Okay, here we go. And... I mean, we're all friends here, right? So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you what happened. Um, someone once gave me a twenty five dollar Dollar Tree gift card. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Panties gotta get yes. Okay, so y'all, we okay. Just a minute. Let me, I, I I gotta whisper this. Okay, so we were on a cruise ship. Our son was like 17 and the boy made me laugh so hard all the time right so he's always making me laugh well it was a weekend cruise it was our first cruise and we we were there friday saturday and sunday and we went to the bahamas and back home i think i'm not even sure day one that boy had me laughing so hard i had to change underwear three times well i only brought three pair right so what was left? Man panties. I kid you not. So I dig out some man panties, which were very confusing for me because, I mean, they're just, I don't know. It's, I don't even know. And, and I told my husband, I said, now listen, <laughs> if this ship goes down, you cut them man panties off of me because I don't want to be found in the bottom of the ocean with nothing but man panties, okay? <laughs> now, meanwhile... We're hoping the ship won't get, go down until I've got my underoos dry, right? So I had washed them out in the sink of the cruise ship, the cruise ship sink. And don't y'all love coming here? Because I'm telling you, this really happened, okay? So I washed them out in the cruise ship sink, and I, I squeezed them out real good. And then I I don't know what I used. I had belts and stuff like that on the on the balcony of our room. Don't be impressed, but I will not go on a cruise unless I get a balcony. That's just, that's, I got to do that. I got to be able to see where I'm going, where I've been, all that stuff. Okay. So I had them strung out on the balcony and I had them, I had my underoos pinned to whatever I used by my little, my decorative pins, right? So I, I just kept, I just kept pinning them on and pinning them on. So it looked like, it looked like the most craptastic decor ever. And these grandma panties are hanging on the balcony. Well, guess what? Ain't nothing going to dry out there. Not in a day, not in three days, not, not in a week. Because seawater, right? Because there's this 
this air that's got, I don't know, it's humid. It's humid. So I'm wearing my man panties, and I keep going to check on to see if my underoos have dried because if they're dry, I can put them on so when the ship goes down, I'll be appropriate, right? <laughs> okay. Well, then I had to worry about if we wreck on our way home from the cruise ship, get this man, these man panties off of me. <laughs> and all the man panties were gone. So somebody had to go commando, and I'm telling you, it was not me. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> True story. Oh, and the captain's like, would room 512 please remove your pirate flag? We're under attack. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, that's us. It's not a pirate flag. <laughs> oh, now that last part I made up, but the rest of it's absolutely true. Absolutely true. And I'm telling you, you haven't lived unless you've traveled in man panties. I don't know how guys do it. <laughs> Nyoka. <laughs> I can talk, pull up his man panties and deal. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, so I, this part I hadn't thought out. Are y'all surprised? Um, Hold on, hold on. Well, <laughs> we're going to stamp this. I kind of think I want to stamp it in the dark gray. <laughs> y'all, and this, this is kind of fun stories. You might get to hear if you come on Thursdays. At one o'clock for Kathy Bob's craft and show. <laughs> Julie Nyoka. <laughs> yeah, but y'all, I I I just I could he made me laugh. He was the funniest kid. Lindell, my mama always made us wear clean underwear before we, she said in case we're in an accident. Now you don't know if we were in an accident, we probably wouldn't get our <laughs> we'd probably get our underwear dirty anyway. <laughs> Right? Oh, my goodness. Oh. So, y'all, I keep this scrap paper. And look, I've got a chicken wire. I've got a chicken wire stamp. But um, I'm not quite sure. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It might be. <laughs> it might be um, stamping up. I don't know. I probably already have that one. Teresa always pack. See, Teresa, here's the thing. For some reason, I packed him a couple of pair extra. I don't know why, but for me, I always run short, y'all. Every time. My family has everything they need, but then I run short. But I wouldn't have run short if the boy hadn't made me laugh so stinking hard. I was like in tears. I had to beg him to shut up. <laughs> I'm just like, stop it. But y'all, this is life. This is this is life with Kathy Bo. And it's how things, honest to goodness, how things go. Um, I don't know if we can use this one, y'all. It's It might be too big. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's cut it down really, really small and see what happens. Whack! <laughs> so, the boy, okay, the boy. He's, he's shy like me. <laughs> So one of the things that made me have to go change clothes, we were in one of the clubs, and these two guys were singing, and they were, you know, they were doing a good job. They really were. Let's celebrate you. I think we can probably, oh, well, maybe I'll put it there. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do yet about this. Um... I'm going to try this. Um, anyway, so we were in one of these clubs, and these guys were, were legit singing. They were doing a good job. It was a very fast song, and this was back when river dance was really popular. Y'all, my son is tall. He is very good looking, and he, he attracts attention everywhere he goes. My daddy was the same way. Oh, Angela. Okay, thank you. Love you, toodles. Um, but yeah, he, um, he is so funny and he got up behind these guys and they couldn't see him and he started river dancing. Y'all, people were dying. They thought it was so funny. Nyoka, 
if you have to wash your panties and think, wring them out and then roll them in a thick towel, ring again, they'll be almost dry. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nyoka, we might be related, girl. <laughs> I'm just going to put that there. I, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'll leave it off for right now. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, so, so this woman in the back of the room, she was just going on and on about him. And, and, you know, somebody at one point asked, uh, asked what his name was because then after you know after his big success river dancing he started singing um karaoke and he sang brick house and a quarter right here and this this woman goes his name is Bo and this woman starts hollering out my baby Bo my baby Bo and bless her heart she's a very large woman and she just put her arms up for him, you know. Of course, he had to walk over there and give her a big old hug, and it was so cute. And, y'all, everywhere we went that whole weekend, um, did you learn it from a day out? What, the, the, the panty situation? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so... So she's hollering my baby Bo and all this, and everybody's just cheering him and, you know, being shy like his mama. He just kept it going, right? So everywhere we went, people would be like, there's Bo, there's Bo. And like I said, he's very handsome. And, I mean, these women were just going crazy. He was a little celebrity, that whole cruise. And here I was, his mama in man panties, hoping and praying that ship didn't go down. That was really the only reason I wanted to make it out live. You should use the little sign I cut. Oh, Lisa, yes, 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 thank you. Yes, good idea, I will do that. I am going to use the little sign. Okay, so I just put a black border around it because, you know, Gina K does. And if it's good enough for Gina K, it's doggone good enough for me. Look inside. I, I just, mm -hmm, that, that happened. So, yeah, oh, I'm going over, y'all, so I need to wrap it up, but I do, I do want to tell you, I am going to put the little sign on there right here if it's, um, if it's the right size. Let me see, great idea, Lisa, let me look real quick, I think it's perfect, I really do, and I can put, I can just put a little happy birthday up oh, greeting, yeah. I think that'll be fine. Just kind of stick it in there like that. That'd be cute. And I'll put a birthday greeting. So, um, so yeah, I will, um, I'll post a picture of it when I'm done. And meanwhile, thank you guys for joining me tonight. And it was fun. And, um, here's our little card. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> put it that way. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It should be over here. A little forward, a little this way. There we go. There's our card tonight. So I will, um, the sharks would have taken, yes, they would, have, the sharks would. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll post a picture of this after I put the sign on it. And thank y'all for coming. And Thursday, one o'clock, set your little alarms so you don't miss the auction. Because I'm going to be auctioning off cute stuff. Maybe not this because it's glass, but you know, we'll see. All right. Thanks so much. God bless and toodles.